Hello Bond Bakers and welcome back to my channel. You're with Nicole and today we're going to be making a quick and easy truffle recipe. These are little bite-sized pieces of chocolate delicious goodness. I know you're gonna love it. There's actually no baking as well, just we just need to get our hands dirty and it's extremely festive and fun. So if there's any little ones around, make sure they get involved with you as well. So let's get to it. Come and check out the ingredients that you are gonna need. Here we have some plain biscuits, some desiccated coconut, sweetened condensed milk, and then over here are a few other optional ingredients that I've added. So I've got some almond meal here, some chopped walnuts, and some nutmeg, and then the cocoa. So some of this cocoa is gonna go in the truffles, and then some of it we can coat it in at the end as well. So we're not gonna use all of this for the center of the truffles. For the optional ingredients that I just mentioned, you can either leave them out entirely or sub them in and out with other ingredients. And I'll leave more about that in the description box below for you, just to have a read through. And for the full recipe to download or print, head to thebondbaker.com. A few of the other things that you'll need for this recipe are a big, large bowl. I've also got a couple of spoons here a rolling pin and a bag. The first thing that we have to do is grab our biscuits, pop them in our bag, and then we're gonna to start to crush them with our rolling pin. That was a solid five minute arm workout. So I have just been giving my biscuits here a beating until they have become nice and refined. They're a lot smaller pieces and actually some of parts of it are a little bit fine. So that's exactly what I wanted. Now we can transfer that to our bowl. We can add all of the other ingredients, all the other dry ingredients first, except for the coconut and the cocoa that we're gonna roll them in at the end. So let's do that now. Almond meal, our nutmeg, and the cocoa. Now we just need to stir this until combined. This looks really nice. You can see the cocoa has overtaken the color here and given us that beautiful chocolate finish. And now it's time just to make a little well in the center here and then we're gonna add our sweetened condensed milk. Try and get every last drop of that sweetened condensed milk. This stuff is amazing. Our sweet sugar glue. All that's left to do is combine our wet with our dry, give it a stir, and then we can start to form our little balls of truffle.
from eating some. Okay, now as you can see, these have been evenly coated in sweetened condensed milk and it's made the mixture a little bit sticky. So um, it's best if we can leave this in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes and when we bring it out, it's just going to make it a lot easier to roll and that little bit less sticky. I've just taken my truffle mixture out of the fridge and it's all ready to start rolling. So just make sure you've got clean hands and I'm just going to grab my spoon. I'm gonna roll all of the balls first, then I'll coat them in either the desiccated coconut or the cocoa and then we can eat them. So you just gotta get your roll on. Good. So you can make these big truffles, small truffles, they're meant to be bite sized but it does depend on how big your bite is. As you can see, my bite is pretty big. Just had to clean my hands again because they were just full of all of that sticky texture um, and now I am good to go and we can start coating these and then they're ready so let's get to it Babies look B E A beautiful. It's time to eat one. Mmm. Wow. Love it. Mm -mm. There's a really nice sweetness that comes through, but they're not too sweet. They're balanced really well, and I love the little bits of walnuts as well. Go team! I may have said that these were bite-sized, but it's probably taken me about four to get through this one. So, kind of bite-sized. I may have got a bit excited. guys my quick and easy chocolate truffles I really hope that you enjoy this recipe especially over the festive season and if you like this recipe and you like the video make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel Le Bon Baker for all tips tricks and recipes for the home baker and I also have a new video coming out every week so make sure you hit that bell see you again next week Come and check out the ingredients that you are going to need. Go again. <laughs>